try and tell a different story. Find balance and I'm tipping off. And tell grandma I'll be with a short. I'm on panic when they send a fuck me. Cause I ain't got time for feeling sorry. I gotta be on point with duty call. And I'm probably the worst nigga to get involved with. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy J2K, and I'm back at it again with another banger, man. Look, if you're new to the channel, make sure you drop a like, and share, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications, be part of the notification crew. Sorry for sounding like this, it's literally like 4 in the morning. And today, I'm gonna be showing you guys my 6 foot 7 pure playmaker building NBA 2K22 current gym. Show you guys some gameplay before I show you guys my animations and my signature styles and whatnot. But you see, we're playing a decent look, and I mean, they aren't too good, but this is a game we play, so. We're over the 6 foot 7 pure playmaker, and then, uh, I think it's a shooting guard or small forward play lock. But, yeah, you see, I'm talking about right here. Uh, these are straight meta players. Like, everyone plays exactly the freaking same in this game, and it gets really annoying how I have to run around a thousand screens in order to stop the guard like it is probably the most annoying thing on this game <clears throat> uh so yeah we're playing against the this play shot in the center the straight meta play players that are not even that good but honestly like they're not even that good i think this is before i had cop my chase down artist badge as soon as i get that i have to start swatting people's shit just straight off the backboard like that getting plenty of stops and whatnot but yeah my six foot seven playmaker um i don't usually run any type of meta lineups i usually run with like a shooter this guy right here my friend on this build this is a play lock it wasn't really that much of a sharp i feel like i'm just better off playing with like a a sharp like a like a stretch a perimeter lock or like a glass a glass cleaner or something like that which is way better this double iso lineup is good but i'm pretty sure it will not really work out because i not good at spotting up with this build. This is a playmaker, and you feel me? Like, it does not, that's, it's not meant to spot up. So, you see, I just kicked, cooked up this little six foot two, six foot three guard. I'm telling you guys, they can't stop you. You're a lot faster than them. You're a lot taller than them. You see, these guards are straight up baby food, bro. Like, a lot of these guards are just straight up baby food. And you can see how easily you just get past them, got an easy layup, just like that they cannot stop you six foot seven gotta have a 95 speed like at 99 overall and i feel bad for whoever has to guard you once you reach that 99 overall but you see my teammate up here cooking of he trying to cook up the big man and got an easy reverse dunk so right now the score is four to eight and i just feel like man I'm starting to green up. I have missed a couple shots, but I'm starting to green up. And they were giving me the straight Ben Simmons treatment. And I'm showing them why they should not. So I had green right there. And straight off an of inbound right here, I guess they're still trying to leave me open again. You know, my build is not meant to be spotting up. So I don't really know why I'm doing this. But, yeah, I faked them out right there. You, you know what I'm saying? And he just leave me straight up right here, bro. I shot my midi and I grinded. it. Make sure to shoot your midis too. You don't always have to settle for three. You shoot your midi. I'm pretty sure your midi is like in the 80s range. And you're not going to miss. Because this build, like any build can shoot in this game. But, yeah, my teammate, he made a pick up the ball. Got him ripped right off of that. Hesitation. Green. Leaving me open. It's not going to do you any type of justice. And now I have my sharpshooting takeover. And now he is forced to guard up. Or I'm just greening that. So you see him now. He wants to guard up. Once I have my sharpshooting takeover. I cook the boy up right here. Cook the boy up right here. Hit him with a behind the back. And I, I'm going to walk back out to the three point line. Hezzy. Right there. And I shot it contested. And I hit the shot for game bro. 19 points on this kid's dome he was just straight up sweating like that right like now I'm, but yeah i haven't really played that many park games like that but ever since i've been playing park i win most of my games so this is before i had maxed out all of my playmaking badges and i just really need to just max out my shooting and i got like two more defensive badges to go and this build is 100 percent complete he's been 100 complete Yes, sir. So we on a little streak right here at this court. I think I went like on a five game. This is like before I had left out earlier. 
this is me and my guy I think these dudes are pulling up once again the guard so I don't know what he is even like trying to do but here go my man's right there trying to cook up with his lock sharp I mean he's I say his play lock I'm sorry about that but he got an easy little layup right there and it's like okay now he's getting his buckets now he's trying to do his thing but I cannot be sitting in the corner for another build with this build like it's really not my thing I'm not really like a spot up build like this is not really my thing I don't do this but you see you go, shoot your middies guys I'm telling you if you miss your first start shot like don't force anything shoot your middies okay like you're gonna green them and we're pure playmakers people think we're trash we can't shoot and then it act surprised like bro you if you know every build can shoot in this game why are you leaving my build open constantly bro why are you leaving my build open constantly honestly and then they complain when they get dropped off they leave us open the entire game once you start greening everything and they start looking stupid like every single pure playmaker is trash or something you know what i'm saying now you know we're not gonna hit every shot like we're sharp but we can shoot decent enough bro this game reminds me a lot of 2k20 but my god died me right there straight up clank that you feel me like this is not really my thing like i'm not supposed to be spotting up with this build but this play shot is fast he's probably like six foot one and you see a lot of dudes make that this year like little six foot one uh play shots and i don't know why that many people make them but on your six foot seven playmaker if you have a six foot one play shot guarding your eyes up bro he is straight baby food honestly you should see the advantage that we have right there but i just got cooked like i just got cooked so bad right there by this bot but yeah you see how you got the layup right there so i'm trying to get a stop right here i think i'm gonna finally get a stop I swat this guard stuff so i'm thinking i'm finally like finally gonna get a stop because they're getting so lucky bro like this dude wants to be a meta player so bad like so bad but that's okay though we'll live with it right we'll live with it okay so you waiting out on inbound right here this shot to me right here i paid fast paid them out and you see i did a little walk backwards thing oh, got straight to the rim see, right now. six he feet six foot one they can't do parties. anything to us y'all they can't do anything to us like they can't do anything to us they want to get mad so bad it looked like i got a contact dunk on that little guard right there but i'm telling you y'all these straight meta players like they're not ready for us playmakers this year like we destroying everybody it's literally the fastest builds in the game so once we get all of our badges y'all they go see watch watch one of us playmakers will hit 99 overall they go really start hating us i ain't gonna lie but you see he dotted me right there spot up shot you see i don't really do that but hey like it, it goes in and dot him from the corner and he hits that with my sharp shooting takeover and they're starting to guard me up and double team right now and i got to dish out my spot up as good as i can you see i faked him out right there hit the shot ended the game with 17 points straight up dropped this kid off he was buns he went one for three like i was on his ass the entire game so he probably kicked me for like that one shot that's the only shot he ever made on me but other than that i straight up clamped this kid the entire game then this is before i started maxing out most of my badges i feel like the only hard thing right now is grinding them shooting badges but anyways y'all let me show y'all my badges and my animations and what not yes sir so i'm about to show you guys my badges and animations on my six foot seven pure playmaker right now i finished look i, I maxed out all my finishing badges i got slithery finisher on gold so i can avoid contact when going to the rim shooting is going to take me a while because you know how hard it is to get shooting badges in my career and his cpu plays defense like prime michael jordan and you see guys right here i got all of my playmaking badges that will help me cook up on iso and help my teammates if you want to pause it you can right here i got a quick first step hyperdrive and that and this right here i'm probably going to max out my last two like my last two uh defensive badges on intimidator because i pretty think that's why a lot of people are finishing on me inside the paint sometimes because they really do need to buff like inside defense because the ish that a lot of these dudes be hitting in this game bro 
it's just straight up whack. Like, you should not be hitting those type of shots. This game needs to improve its paint defense. Other than that, it's straight. But you, you can screenshot all of these right here, my uh, hop jumpers or whatnot. I use long athlete layups and I use basic dunks right there. I ain't got my park dunks yet, so I always I hit 97 overall. My dribble moves right here. One thing I might change to my size up escape, I might put that to LeBron. I feel like a lot of 6'5 guard builds, you know, they have better dribble moves. But we'll live with it, man. We still learn it, y'all. Like we we're gonna find some better things throughout the year. Probably some better dribble moves. But this is what I'm clearly using for now. They may not stay the same, so I might change them throughout the year. But if you're new to the channel, make sure you drop a like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'm out.